All right, guys, coach back here. Now, just thinking, just at that left, that uh, conference there, that pro Toronto Pro Show there, just left a bad taste in my mouth. I don't know. Just, uh, just to say that I'm part of that industry. And it was just yesterday. I was at another conference, a professional conference, and somebody wanted to do. Uh, somebody wanted my number and this and that. I'm like, I, I, I don't hang out with personal trainers or whatever. I, I, I hang out with a small group of people. And he asked me why, and I was saying, I. I, I I'll just say it like a couple of things I shouldn't have said maybe because I maybe I, I offended him uh, maybe I made myself look bad but now uh, actually walking through that uh, conference center I, I, I feel like everything that I said was true so I don't feel as bad but the bad taste in my mouth is that out of all those thousands of people there health professionals health fanatics okay personal trainers strength conditioning coaches chiropractors doctors yeah come on. One guy, I, I, it was with my buddy, he's a doctor, so he's, he's, he's he, uh, I haven't talked to him in a couple of years, but yeah, he, he, he's a, a big exercise and uh, diet guy. He'll uh, talk to you about that if you need it. And there was no good food there. There was no good food. There was nothing there, okay? There was no good food there. Just on my way out, I seen a place that said, uh, I don't know, I forget the name, Nuts and Olive? So I was hoping that there was going to be nuts there because sometimes I teach my guys, if you're out on the street and you're hungry, if you can get nuts just to tie you over until you get home, you know, uh, A, I mean, nuts are not cheap, but it's cheaper. At least you know what you're getting as long as they're, uh, you know, like maybe a pistachio or something. Just go, go, go grab a bag of pistachio and just open them up while you're there with a glass of, uh, with a bottled water or something. That'll keep you going until you go home. Um, but I didn't find that at all. I just found, uh, I seen muffins there. Croissants, cookies. Uh, there was a plastic container with green beans, which kind of seemed weird to me because uh, the green beans look like, uh, I don't know, the green beans at my house look a little bit different. And uh, so I don't know if they were organic. I don't know if they had any sauce to them. I, maybe if they looked a little bit better, if there was like a balsamic vinegar or some kind of tomatoes on it or something, would have been nice. Just looks so plain. And I think there was a sushi maybe. Can't be fresh sushi, I know. I personally don't eat sushi because it's, it's just not my thing, but I thought sushi was supposed to be made fresh in front of you. I didn't know it was supposed to be packaged. I didn't look at the prices because it doesn't matter anyways. It didn't really look all that appealing. But what's interesting to me is that out of a whole health conference like that, that's basically what it is. It was supposed to be anyways. A whole health conference like that. There's not any good food. There was, uh, as I said earlier in a, in, a, in a video, there should have been some restaurants here or chefs to say, hey, we can cook for you. I mean, I do some cooking for my clients. I mean, my clients are busy. Sometimes I got to cook for them, right? Some of my clients have cooked, some of my clients have maids. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. So I'm just curious here with this show. I mean, what? There was no chef there was no restaurant nobody there to say hey this is what we do we have a service that you know you health fanatics and you doctors and you chiropractors you coaches you know we can feed your whole team we can feed your 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 clients there was nothing there the healthiest the healthiest meal there was like a, a box of um, green beans again i don't know what, what was in it maybe it was, could have been laced with uh soybean oil for i know i don't know and um there was uh, muffins there, that croissants, uh, sushi, there was a sandwich there. It's really, really odd that in a health, uh, health uh, convention there like that, that was the healthiest food that you can find in North America, which was actually garbage. I mean, what did you want me to be? You want me to be nice? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Grab a container of green beans? This is my, supposed to be my lunch? This is, what, this is what I'm supposed to eat, green beans? This is what I'm gonna to go to the gym tomorrow and do squats on, green beans? Or what am I supposed to have? A snack as a, as a carrot cake or something? A carrot muffin? A chocolate chip cookie? Is that, is, that, is that what's supposed to make me healthy? Is that what's gonna fuel my next workout? Is that what's gonna keep me going tonight when I'm with my family, my friends? Is that the type of nutrition that's gonna keep me away from doctors? I mean, isn't it odd that a health convention doesn't have good food for people to eat now or later. Like I said, if there was a chef there to get a, a booth to say, hey, you know what, we do catering or whatever, we, do, we make good food, you know what I mean? Like real good food, you know what I mean? 
or a restaurant to say, hey, we are in Toronto, man. If you guys are uh, health conscious, come down to our restaurant. We cook in front of you. We cook with real ingredients. We didn't use any garbage, you know, come and check us out. Just get a booth there. I'm sure people will run to it. People are always asking me what restaurants to eat at and stuff. And trust me, guys, there's not too many good, healthy restaurants in Toronto, affordable or not, okay? I would probably say, I would probably go as far as saying that's North America. North, eating out in North America is a risky thing as far as I'm concerned. And um, I'm going to do a video on that too, where it's, eating out should be like the last resort. Especially in North America. I mean, if I'm in Italy, I can go across the street. The guy probably cut me up a piece of cheese and tomato. You know what I mean? I don't think that's too hard to find, is it? I don't know. Maybe you've never been there. I have. I know. I can probably get good food on every corner in Europe, okay? At least the countries I've been to. Uh, good food in Canada? You can't even get good food at a health conference, okay? That was a health conference there. So the healthiest food there was green beans, sushi, I don't know what that sandwich had. Probably deli meat or whatever. I don't know. I, I mean, what was? Uh, it's bread. What was that bread made with? I don't know. Was it? I mean, I don't know. I'm. You guys see me? I eat bread, but the bread is made at home. I know what's in it. Four ingredients. Okay. Maybe five. We put raisins or olives in it or whatever. You know what I mean? But isn't it odd that there was no good food there? Nutritious food, healthy food. To say, oh my God, you know what? I got a squat workout tomorrow. I'm out in the town. I'm at a conference, I'm enjoying myself, I'm seeing people I haven't seen in a while, my friend's competing, blah, 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 my clients are competing, I'm checking it out. I'm gonna go order uh, something healthy, okay? There wasn't anything out there, there for thousands of people. And why? Why? Because people don't demand it. People don't demand it. So if you say, hey, you know what, we're gonna throw a conference, let's just say that's the GNC thing or whatever, whoever the promoters are, the magazines, the to say, hey, you know what? These guys need good food. There has to be good food there. Otherwise, they're not gonna come. Because what are they gonna eat? Get it? Most people don't get what I've just said, all right? But what did you see? You see personal trainers, coaches, strength condition coaches, chiropractors, doctors, what were they doing? Lining up for protein powders, cookies, shakes, and uh, bars, and whatever, for free, free. These are the guys that keep bragging on Instagram how much money they make and how many clients they got, right? Yeah, 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 sure. So guys, that shows you a few things that I'm gonna illustrate in a future video. Eating out is the last resort and every time you leave the house, you should always have a backup plan of what you're gonna eat. And being stuck in a situation like that is uh, no concern to me personally and no concern to my client. Why? Well, we don't need it. We just don't need it. So it's not have a food list of allow, uh, what I eat sometimes and what I eat all the time. No, we, we've kicked it up, we stepped it up this year where we, most of my clients have already been there because most of my clients don't eat junk anyway. They, they weren't raised on junk and they don't eat junk, right? But in the last year, a lot of us have said, no, there is no pizza on the weekend. No, there is no pasta on the weekend. There is no drinking on the weekend. It's either allowed all the time or never the time. You know what I mean? So where does that take us when we leave the house? Well, when we leave the house, you might say, oh man, there was nothing better. We, do we allow it or we don't allow it, right? It just has to fall in yes or no. There is no in between. So for these guys here, they're actually forced to eat garbage food, forced. What else could you say? They're not forced. What was their option? To leave, the, to leave and go to a, a re the restaurants across the street? There's only really one good restaurant across the street because the other restaurant got destroyed because they got to build another condo in Toronto. And the other restaurant is good, but it's loud, okay? It's loud. I'm not going to mention the name. Yeah, you could get like a nice steak in there, nice veggies if you want. Chef is good, but it's loud. Unless you're, they're going to shut the music down. I'm telling you right now, you're going to sit down beside it with a, with a group of people and you're not going to hear nobody, okay? Probably better, be, best bet is sit beside each other and text each other. You'll probably get your message across better. So when you are in a place like that or when you are in downtown Toronto, look up right here, look, where am I, okay? Here I am. So what do we got? We got Hoops. I don't even know what the hell that is. Hoops. Hoops Sports Bar and Grill. Does that look like a healthy establishment to me? No. Subway. You guys see Subway? Okay. All right. Hasty Market. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get a chocolate bar and a sports drink there, right? Pita and Grill. Managed. Taco Del Mar. Aroma. 
Does this look like a healthy corner to you? Every corner in Toronto is the same. Every corner in North America is the same. Okay? So basically, once you leave the house, you're kind of forced to eat suboptimal food or... Can I say poison? Can I? No? I'm not allowed to use that? Too strong? Okay, whatever. Uh, in our... In our program, we don't allow these foods. So we're not stuck. We don't get stuck. We don't eat it. Do you smoke? Yes or no? There's no in-betweens. Do you drink? I don't know some drinker that said, oh, I don't drink, but I drink sometimes. I don't know these kind of guys. They either drink or they don't drink. Okay? You either do Coke, cocaine, or you don't do cocaine. Okay? Same thing with food. I don't eat, I don't eat donuts. I don't eat donuts. Right? Okay? So... You're in, a, you're in a fitness conference and what? You don't expect good food? There was no restaurant there to order? There was nowhere to sit down like a gentleman and say, hey, I want to order a steak dinner, okay? Maybe a glass of wine and get your uh, antioxidants or whatever, you know what I mean? Hey, why not? But you'll say, hey, there's going to be 10,000 people coming this weekend, okay? Which is probably the right number, actually, okay, roughly. And to say there's going to be guys there, people that want to eat good because... They're personal trainers, they're bodybuilders, they're athletes, they're competitive, okay? They're health conscious, they're doctors, they're nutritionists, okay? That whole umbrella of personal training that I do, okay? Nutritionists, coaches, chiropractors, the whole thing, okay? There wasn't any good food. The best food there, is, again, I'm not a sushi guy, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go there, but it's packed sushi, it's not like it's fresh, okay? The people that I know that eat sushi, eat fresh sushi, okay? Green beans, I don't know who made those green beans. I don't even know when they were made. Were they made yesterday? What's the package on them? I don't know nothing about them, okay? The green beans that I make and I make for my clients, I know. Or when I go to restaurants where I know the chef, I know what's going on, okay? That's why I'm there. I know what's going on. If I didn't know what's going on, I probably wouldn't be there, okay? So, again, it's a shame that in North America, good food is becoming a rarity. And even when you go to a health uh, health conference like that with thousands of health conscious people professional personal training you still can't get good food okay muffins croissants uh, so, uh it's just junk guys you couldn't even get like a nut you couldn't even get like a bag of nuts to say hey you know what here's some pistachios charge me double charge me double okay no that'd be too hard let me give you a muffin yeah of course you want to give me a muffin because that muffin costs you 30 cents to make and you're charging people $4.99. Of course you want to charge the muffin, okay? How much is that cookie? Or what about that protein powder that you're charging 50, 60 bucks for, okay? Well, it, and another thing, protein powder is the cheapest supplement that they can make, okay? That's why you've seen a whole ton of it. I didn't see any creatine today. I didn't see any uh, beta lanin. I didn't see some of the more exotic stuff, okay? Why? Because people, A, don't have any money, one. <laughs> Just open your eyes. Well I, well, I mean, look who you're selling to. You're selling to people in track pants and, ta and tank tops. Well, what, you're, not, you're not selling them a Ferrari, I don't think, right? So, uh, they're making a big profit off that. And they're not going to make a profit off some, selling somebody a steak or, uh, you know, something a little bit more, less of a profit ratio, okay? You're dealing with people that probably don't even know what I'm talking about. But they should know nutrition. And when you see personal trainers lining up for protein powder, and then they say, hey, oh, what, uh, that's, what, that, that, what should a personal trainer look like? Well, it shouldn't look like that, okay? Probably shouldn't even be eating that. Probably shouldn't even be degrading yourself to be waiting in line like that. What the hell are you wearing? I mean, did you, uh, are you, did you come here in your pajamas? I mean, sometimes I sleep in my, tra uh, in my track pants and my, uh, my tank top. You know what I mean? What else would I sleep in? Okay? And that's just the thing that people don't get it. Okay? And if you're going to have food at a place, at least have food that's going to be nutrition and not poison. Okay? Making... You could, did you see that muffin? Look at that video on the muffin. It looked like there was oil coming out. Okay? Have you seen my muffins? My muffins don't have oil. Okay? And the sushi wasn't, wasn't good. The bread, it looked like, again, oily. It looked like it was all soybean oil and all garbage. So you go to a health conference and it has nothing to do with health, okay? It has nothing to do with health at all. It has something to do with selling protein powder, selling supplements, 
and uh, selling false hopes, okay? So that's what I want to say, guys. Basically, going to a health conference has nothing to do with health, and there was no health food there. So, shocking or not, that's the way it is, but you got to protect yourself, and probably the best way to protect yourself is do you eat that food or not? If you don't eat that food, then you don't have to worry about what's available. Because if it's not available, you're going to go and you know what, I already know what's going on. You know what I mean? So, is I won't care if there's good food there or not. Because I don't expect good food there. And I don't eat bad food. So, for me, I'm not getting stuck. You know what I mean? I know where to go. For example, right now I'm at uh, Bremer and York. Okay, so I would go to a supermarket here that I know. I can go downstairs and get anything what I want, okay? I can get meat, I can get vegetables, I can get nuts. I know where I am at all times and how close I am to certain supermarkets, certain restaurants where I can get good food. But that has nothing to do with health conferences, okay? Where predominantly the booths were food, food supplements. But it wasn't healthy food. Okay, you can't tell me protein powder that was dried and who knows from where this milk came from, who knows what process it is to make this, who packaged it, who knows if the packaging and from nutrition information is correct. You have no idea, man. You have no idea. Okay? So as far as I'm concerned, that nutrition was the biggest uh, selling product there. But what I'm trying to say is that the nutrition there sucked, okay? Protein powders and shakes and uh, nuts and whatever. That's not food to me. It's just not food to me. I don't know. It could be food to them. I don't know. Again, you're talking about young guys, like I said. Like, there's not too many 40-year-olds that are doing this. They're just, they just can't last, okay? They've given up. They don't do it. Either they couldn't make money because they were not good enough to begin with, or they were not in it for the lifestyle. Do you know what I mean? There's a lifestyle choice here to say, I'm not going to do that. We have people that, hey, I'm no longer a personal trainer. I can do whatever I want now. <laughs> like, I'm going to eat whatever I want. I don't care, man. I gained a little bit of weight. You know what I mean? But if you were eating food, food, real food, and not eating junk food, okay, probably you wouldn't have gained that extra weight, okay? Probably the stress of being a personal trainer, now once you retire, probably you would be a little bit healthier because our job is stressful, okay? Unlike some of these Instagram personal trainers that seem to be living it up in life, I don't know. I, I, I wish they would write a book so I can follow their program, but that's not reality. So how do you go to a health expo and not have healthy food? Welcome to Toronto, welcome to Canada, welcome to North America, welcome to the Western world, or as I meet people, scientists and stuff, the modern world, this is the modern world where we're not going to be able to grow food or uh, sustainable food or whatever. We're going to eat in protein powders and shakes. This is what, this is what I, yeah, I've met people like that, okay? Uh, seriously. But it's shocking that that was the healthiest food that you can find at a health uh, symposium there, okay? And that was probably my fourth or fifth uh, time interacting well that wasn't a professional development so this was like still interacting with personal trainers and people in the health field so whatever it's about fourth or fifth time but the other ones were personal development and i can tell you i don't know what a personal trainer looks like because i'm dealing with real personal trainers okay not models and i can say a lot of them do not eat like the way you think okay some of them could be eating a little bit more healthier but not like that that looks like they have some kind of uh Right? So, guys, you know, just be aware of what you see out there because a lot of these guys that you see on Instagram that uh, you are following and you're trying to take advice from, it's not always what you, uh, it's not always as roses as what you think it is, okay? I mean, look at them, eating protein powder, waiting in line. I mean, I don't know, don't you know, I mean, I wouldn't wait in line. If I needed something, I'll get it. Why would I waste, why would I waste my life waiting in line, okay? If I want something, I'll go get it. If I want a food, I'll go get it, okay? If I want to be somewhere, I just jump on the plate, okay? I'm not going to I'm not gonna let people waste my afternoon waiting in line in line for a little sample, okay? It's 40 bucks, man. Just pay for it, whatever. Share it with your buddies and, you know, see what's going on. So, again, it's the, our industry is becoming a 